three, two, one. Hi, Famos here. Welcome to the second video of Weapon Mastery. This video is not about the builds, it's about what is the unique characteristic of the weapon class, the positives and the negatives, and probably some tips and tricks as well. Here in the second video, I'll talk about automatic pistols, the weaker commando. If you're into this kind of video, don't forget to like and subscribe, even if you just watched until the end, I appreciate it. Now let's begin. Let's talk about the positives first. In the first point, automatic pistols could be equal or slightly stronger to commando in some cases, especially when we compare it to the low damage commando weapons like submachine guns and assault rifle, because you have some slot to put damage or armor penetration perks on perception slot like exterminator, glow sight, and tank killer. The second point, it's a decent stealth weapon class especially the 10mm pistols. It has suppressor mod, combined that with automatic receiver, and it's becoming more than viable. You can like, go through all the contents in the game. And the third point, it could be a backup boss killer, if done right. Because first, basically it's an automatic weapon, so it still hits OK DPS with fat crits, but note that the base damage is so low, the critical damage is also low, so you might need some buffs like Blight Soup or Magazine or the Eagle Eyes Mutation. Now let's talk about the negatives. First negative point, main damage perks are on agility. Well, in agility, there are good damage perks like Adrenaline or indirect damage perks like Covert Operative, Mr. Sandman, they are so conflicting that you have to do some trade-off with nice perks such as Action Boy, Dodgy, Escape Artist, or even Bone Survivor, which is not really a big problem for non-pistol build. Hell, even non-pistol builds sometimes still don't have enough slots on agility. The second point, whatever we do, whatever we try, Commander will be a better choice. Except for the fun factor because it's subjective. So the cause of this is because of the low base damage. Low base damage is the key factor here. Perhaps Bethesda should make pistols have more critical multipliers to compensate or some unique mechanics so that finally they have their own identity. And the third point, somewhat expensive ammo. It's not like the individual ammo is expensive. But we deal less damage than rifles. That means we spend more ammo. And the final point, specific about the plasma gun, it has less fat AP cost when the weapon has standard or bruised pistol grip. Sounds like a positive point, right? But of course, the automatic barrel of the energy weapons increase their fat AP cost more than the AP cost reduction from the pistol grip. It really is a bummer. Compared to the previous video, this video might have sounded like a rant. It's hard for me to get a positive points for the automatic pistols because literally there's no point to use this build other than roleplay factor or fun factor. To be fair, I might have missed something, so please share in the comments below what you think about the weapon class and why do you like it or hate it. However, the video is yet to be ended. Let's watch me trying to solo Earl with an automatic pistol, the 10mm. So here I'm in the Earl's lovely home, and this is the weapon, a quad 10mm auto pistol. I've set up all the mods for fat spirit build. To be honest, there's one thing that I love about this weapon. It's the durability, it has insane durability. I could go maybe like 3 consecutive our fights without repairing it. These are my perks. I have all the Guerrilla cards, except that I reduce like 2 cards with only 2 ranks because I need to reserve some slot for covert operative and dodgy. 
And these are my legendary perks. I have all special cards except one, follow through. It's a very good damage legendary cards, especially when we are playing solo. And the pistol has very low damage, so we need every bit of damage we can get. And these are my buffs. I have bubble head, guns and bullets 3, and then blood soup for more critical damage multiplier. And these are my mutations. Of course, the most important one, eagle eyes for more critical damage, and happy for to amplify our blood soup buff. Now, let's do it. First, I will try to down myself with a grenade to activate Revenant. Change armors back to unyielding. And then re equip Serendipity. I took it off. Okay, and then readjust the radiation level. And then use Syringer to spawn Bloodfly when the Wendigo dies. This way we can stack up Adrenaline buffs up to 6 stacks. Okay, now I'll take Liquid Courage, Ballistic Bob, Overdrive, and then let's see the weapon damage. Oops, some lagging. I saw 130 something damage. It's not bad, but it's not good either. Let's see. I guess it's not that bad. I can see the health bar goes down relatively fast, I'd say. And we're still in caution. That's good. I just I need to stay alive. Twelve seconds later. Oh what the hell? I didn't see that. Uh oh I guess that's the AOE stuff. It's not even the fire embers. I have fireproof and I have a bestos lining. I guess it's not enough. It's okay, second chance. Okay, seems good. Let's go. Uh, I'll retake all the buffs, I guess. Oops. Okay, let's clean up this when he goes for some adrenaline stacks. Okay, we're back. Let's clean up those little things. Okay, you see, the longer the fight, the exponentially harder it is. Especially with low health build, without power armor, the boss still can be threatening to us. But if you build like full health, vampire, where you cannot die, the fight can be a slog. It can be so boring. But to be fair, in the other games, when you build for tanks with low damage, the boss fight can be boring too in this game, especially when you're doing it solo. One Earl, I need you to mutate for the checkpoint. Go, go, go. Is he mutating? Not yet. Ah, oh, finally. Okay, that's a good checkpoint. I think this is gonna be a long as fight. A few moments later. Oh, whoa, 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 stop! Okay, that's explosive for you. I almost got him. Right, okay, I think we need to get down fast as soon as possible before he regenerates. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Uh oh. Please stop, Earl. Stop. I need to shoot him once, I guess. Okay. Well, at least he's still like, I don't know, 45%. A few moments later. Okay, we are so close. 
please don't mess up one more okay got him I'm not even sure how fast we killed him but I have like 17 minutes left and all even started from 25 minutes so I guess like roughly 7 to 8 minutes with all of the dying part so if I do it right without any of the dead parts I guess I could do it like 6 minutes I guess or maybe optimistic sub 5 minutes okay I think that is all if you're into this kind of video please like and subscribe and see you in the next video